So I want to just spend 10 minutes taking you through who DDN is and who Tintree is. There's quite a lot of history. It's a very interesting company. It's kind of differentiated in the general market. We're not one of the tier one vendors, if you like, and we're not a startup. We're something a little bit different and quite unusual. So we are the world's largest privately held storage company, and it's been that way actually for, for many years now. Uh, we're a market leader, particularly in HPC and AI. We have 10,000 customers um, across all our divisions, um, 1,000 employees. Uh, we've been going actually now for 22 years. We had our 20th anniversary actually in 2019. Um, across the different products and storage management, we have 150 patents, a little bit more than that. And we have 10 technology centers around the world. So I've been in this company for eight years. Um, so I deal with people all around the world. Um, I run the Benchmark Center that's based in Colorado Springs. Uh, we have people in Paris, people in Japan, huge developments across the world in China, in the US, in Europe, all over the place. Um, it's a pretty interesting company. Um, and the history look, kind of looks like this. So in 2001, uh, Alex and Paul, our glorious founders, founded this company. Um, and started off very much in HPC. It was really a request from um, some customers to make a difference in getting performance and speed into the toughest IO challenges. And in 2013, in fact, there's several things we missed out here, but um, in 2013, we powered the fastest computer, supercomputer in the world at, at LANL. And in fact, today, we power the fastest supercomputer in the world at Fugaku. Um, we became the world's largest private data storage company in 2014. In 2018, getting more recent now, we really invested quite heavily in AI. Um, so I have a team working for me who has been doing all that work and research in a lot of conjunction with NVIDIA to develop um, systems that can scale. In fact, we're really the only storage which is um, supported on Superpods today. And we then went through a bunch of acquisitions. So we, we had this wonderful space in HPC and expanding into AI, and we wanted to expand and use what we thought is a kind of a bit of magic about Tintree and, and break into new markets. And we went acquiring some very specific companies. We first acquired the Luster division from Intel. That's a parallel file system. And that's actually the basis of one of our file systems on the at scale side of our business. And I'll tell you what this at scale and enterprise thing means in a minute. Um, but more importantly, for this presentation, we acquired Next Center uh, and IntelliFlash division from Western Digital. And also we acquired Tintree um, in the past two or three years. Um, and that's really been establishing a new enterprise business for DDM. So now with those acquisitions, we are at 10,000 customers plus, we are at 1,000 employees plus, and we um, are a profitable company, uh, so we've done well in this industry and we're not um, fed by investors. Uh, we are self-funding um, and profitable and have been for many years now. So what do we do and what's our kind of purpose in life? Um, there's a number of purposes in life, but really it comes down to two or three things. One is, I mean, as this slide shows, and I'm sure you're all aware, the challenges with unstructured data is, is huge and companies both in the enterprise and in traditional sort of high-end large data, big data areas are seeing explosions in the volumes of their data. More importantly, with the advent of AI, they need to have consistent, fast, low latency access to all that data. And then thirdly, again, equally important is our customers need to utilize AI to autonomize their systems. So when they have enterprise infrastructures at whatever scale, um, whilst the budgets are staying constant, the needs to gain value of that data and to manage the infrastructure keep going up. And we're building systems to help the enterprise um, manage their systems with lower effort, lower administration overhead, and allow their people to focus on high value things. So this is what we're about. We're, we, we're both powering AI on the at scale side of our business and we're using AI on the enterprise side of our business. And I'll come back to that in a couple of minutes time. So what about our markets? Well, HPC was the first one. Um, so for maybe the first 10 years of the organization's uh, life, 
really purely in HPC, not just in academia, but also in enterprise. Um, so think about uh, companies that develop aero engines, for example, or vehicles, there's still HPC in those companies. And then three years ago, we went uh, very heavily investing in AI and analytics. And now we have a whole product range called the A3i, which powers that. We've always been well-known in research and academia, um, and we now have some huge customers in enterprise at scale, which is a sort of a business sector we define as those enterprise customers who are really beyond um, the standard of enterprise in terms of the volumes of their data and the performance they need to get out of it. Now, we acquired Nexenter, we acquired Tintry and the Tintry VM Store product and IntelliFlash within the past few years. And last year, we forged them together to form the Tintry business unit. So now today we have DDM, which is performing these at-scale workloads and really working with HPC, AI, at-scale enterprise. And we have Tintry, Tintry with its intelligent infrastructure, and that's serving those enterprise businesses. So web and cloud, telco, public sector, and a broad spectrum of enterprise uh, use cases through the Tintry business. So these Tintry and DDM businesses really do fairly different things, but there is overlap, and we're taking advantage of that overlap as time moves forward. In terms of our customers, um, I mean, some of the logos are extremely powerful. Um, uh, certainly, we do power the top Fortune 500 companies, very, very recognizable names, right at the, literally the top five companies in the world uh, using DDM in various ways, often for AI, often for enterprise. We have large customer base across life sciences, AI, enterprise, enterprise at scale, which is our definition, and government and academia, and more. There's more logos and we can really fit on the slide and make them visible. Um, so also great customers in telco, great customers in media. Um, so the list actually goes on and on and on, and we reduced the number of logos here so you could actually get a, a feel for a specific subsets of those customers. So what about this DDN and Tintry business? I mean, at a basic level, there's, there's kind of two kind of elements to how we're approaching this new market. On one side with DDN, we are literally powering the world's fastest AI supercomputers. So number five in the top supercomputer list is a GPU system built by NVIDIA. It's called Selene. Uh, we built the storage for that um, starting this time last year, and it's been expanding ever since. So Selene, number five on the top 500 supercomputer list is NVIDIA's um, very large GPU-based machine. And that's being powered by DDN storage, our A3i product range. So on the at scale side of our business on DDN, we're really at the core and leading the very, very high-end AI. Now we're doing something different on the Tintree side. On Tintree, it's enterprise. And what we're about is um, keeping the management overhead small, keeping the intelligence and the infrastructure high. And to that end, we're using analytics and machine learning to enable intelligent infrastructure, which we'll hear about later on today, or AI ops with real-time analytics automating and providing automation through all those trillions of data points that we're gathering from customer systems uh, around the world. And we're going to go in a lot more detail about that element today. So mainly we're focusing on Tintry in this presentation. We're focusing on how we use AI ops to deliver a much better experience for administrators and for the companies that employ those administrators. So in terms of products in this Tintry business, there's really three which we've acquired over the past few years and developed significantly since that time. IntelliFlash is unified storage for analytics and enterprise workloads. Unified means it's serving many, many protocols. Uh, secondly, VM Store. It's a very different machine, a very different animal from other storage systems. Um, it's designed to support virtualized environments, including now databases and containers. It simplifies and automates the whole virtualized environment. And that sounds like marketing speak, and it is a bit, but you'll get plenty more depth later on in this presentation. And then next center store um, is also kind of unified storage, but it's not an appliance. It's not a physical hardware, it's software defined. And that's the favored way of deploying storage in the telco markets. So with these three uh, product lines, IntelliFlash, VM Store, and Nextender Store, and also having Tintry leverage the other products from our DDN at scale part of the business, we really have very broad coverage in these um, very fast growing markets. 